Here's meteorologist Keith Bradberg, sponsored by Jim Bass Cars and Trucks. And welcome back, everybody. Good afternoon. We are looking at our monthly temperatures. Notice we have a lot of gray and some blue areas. We've had about 10, to, or 10 days below average temperatures for the month of August so far, and about two weeks worth of temperatures around average. You'll notice a few days triple digits. That's when we had ten, uh, averages about 98, 99 degrees at those times. Now our average is about 96. 596 for highs at this part of the month. Right now we have 88 degrees in San Angelo, 53% humidity and winds coming from the south. At 7 miles an hour we have a few clouds but not a whole lot of activity going to be going on. And looking at the rest of the region here for current temperatures we have a lot of mid to upper 80s to start off our afternoon hours. Humidity levels are down 40s and 50s to kick off the noon hours here. So again it's going to be a little bit on the comfortable side as we get through our day. Now we do have strong Stronger wind speeds in Ozona at 15 miles an hour coming from the south. We have Mertzen, Big Lake, and Sterling City in the double digits. Everywhere else in the Contra Valley is sitting around 5 to 10 miles per hour. And that's going to continue for the next couple of hours. And then later today, that's going to be increasing. Now we see a lot of 80s and 90s for temperatures across the Lone Star State. We may see a few pockets of air that are actually in the 70s at this time. But again, that's not too bad for this time of year. A few spotty showers along the coastline as we continue through our day but for the rest of Texas and the Contro Valley once again maybe a few clouds starting to develop but we're not expecting anything as we go through the rest of our Wednesday kind of breaking down what we can expect wind speeds are going to be coming in from the southeast later this afternoon and then picking up speeds from the east 10 to 15 miles per hour about five six o'clock today and our highs are expected to be in the low to mid 90s across the Contro Valley so again it's a pretty average August day for Texas now tonight's lows are going to be dropping just to the 70s we'll have clear skies but that moisture content is going to be going back up so it is going to start to feel a little bit more on the muggy side as we head into tomorrow morning highs tomorrow are expected upper 80s to low 90s we'll have sunny skies for the morning and then a little bit more cloud cover heading into tomorrow afternoon and we could see some spotty showers in the southern half of the Contro Valley getting through tomorrow afternoon and then Friday is going to be actually the same thing we are going to continue to see that mix of sun and cloud we have a couple of systems we're kind of keeping an eye on in the tropics right now in the Atlantic one system in the middle of the Atlantic another one that's just to the west of Africa and then this one is what a lot of people are keeping an eye on it continues to intensify and move closer to our region as we head into next week so we are expecting possibly a bit of that coming into East Texas and that's going to impact us giving possible showers as we head into next Tuesday highs are going to be in the upper 80s to low 90s you're watching KLST news at noon we'll be right